Good morning, guys. Uh, in today's session, we are, we are going to discuss about data types in JavaScript. Uh, in previous session, we discussed about expressions and operators. Right now, the concept is data types in JavaScript. Generally, in every programming language, we have a concept called data types. For example, if we can take C language and Java, while we are declaring a variable, we have to assign the variable and its data type. For example, if I want to create a variable in C equal to 20, what is this here? Int is a data type here. C is the name of the variable and value we have to be stored inside the uh, data type is 20. So the data type is 20. So uh, sorry, the, the data type is integer. Then the value should be integer only. We cannot save float value or we cannot save double value or we cannot save any string value. So for example, if I want to store another variable, some floating point value here, 10.5, such a manner, 10.6, whatever it may be. This is how we can declare the variables in other programming language whereas in javascript whatever the variable it may be whatever the value you want to store inside of it just we can go with the var keyword we don't need any data type here and does not require here here javascript is a dynamic language what is the meaning of dynamic language whatever the variable it may be guys so it will hold any type of data so what is my slide is saying here can you see the slide here javascript is a loosely typed or dynamic language variables in javascript no, variables in javascript are not directly associated with any uh, with any uh, particular value type so while we are declaring variable can you see here uh, i declared a variable let foo equal to 42 here we saved a number here in the same variable i saved a string value in the same variable i stored a boolean value this is called dynamic language this is called dynamic data typing so in other programming language if you define a variable int then you have to save integer value only so but here if you can see javascript we don't worry about the data type here whatever the value it may be as yes, we can save into that particular variable right javascript variables can hold many data types like numbers string objects and arrays and uh, undefined null this type of different data types can be supported by javascript this is simply said dynamic typing so in this situation what is going to happen we have a variable with the uh, three values what is the latest value that latest value will overrides into the current value for example uh, here i just want to show you here let us create a variable where is equal to something like i am taking this as a uh, 30 something like this is 30 now the same variable i am taking here where age equal to so i'm taking something called welcome so here i'm coming age equal to true can you see here i have a variable so with the name called age first we assigned a value called 30 this is number data type and this is the string data type now we are assigning and this is a boolean data type so what is going to happen in this situation here age value is 30 the 30 is overriding with the welcome now the welcome is going to override with the a boolean value called true if we can print so check with console.log so age finally what are you going to see so all the values what is the latest value in the variable age we have a true javascript is a line by line execution so the value will be like this guys can you see so i did console so go to f12 here and check on this the value is true so that is the latest value so now i'm removing the boolean value in one variable we can hold multiple see variable is one so first we saved number later we saved a string now we saved a boolean value now the boolean value removed and we are getting this now let me remove this also if we can remove this what is the value we have 30 we have this is how we can this is dynamic typing dynamic data typing so we can save any kind of value inside of it as well as uh, we have uh, the data types supported data types yeah so we can see the supported data types by javascript we have these data types guys strings numbers boolean arrays objects undefined null and here undefined and null are the special data types in javascript and moreover there is one interview question also will come difference between undefined and null Right, let us see all the data types one by one right 
So let us check the data types one by one. For example, so first I want to talk with a string. Uh, we know already uh, how can we declare a string. So take a variable var str equal to some variable. So this is a string value. Welcome to JavaScript something like. So you can uh, we can define the strings either in a single quote or double quote. Now we have a string. Let me take under string here str1. So let us define the string with some different value, nothing but. So this, I'm taking this into a single quote. This is going to be only JavaScript. I'm not using anything. This is just only JavaScript. So we know these are all the strings. Either it is in a double quote or it is in a single quote. This is going to be a string. For example, I'm taking a variable called price equal to something called, I'm taking something called 100. So is price is a number or a string? We may have some doubt guys here, whether the price may be a string or number, some people may have confusion. So I'm saying you, if you can keep any value that is either in single code or double code, that is going to be a string. Now, if you want to check whether this is a string or not, we have a operator called already we seen yesterday that is called type of operator by using type of price, we can check the price is either a number or a string. Simply, I'm just going with console.log. So by using this operator, we can find the type of the variable, not only type of, you can take any object or anything. So we can find the type of it. So now you can just go and run the file. Now just run the file now you can check in the console we can see the type of a string i already told you if you can keep anything in single code or double code that is going to be a string now these are the strings strings are declared that is either in single code or double code now let me go with the numbers for example where price equal to i am taking this as a 10.55 some price where age equal to i'm taking something called 30 right these are the things can you see here we have two variables one is a one is price generally we can call this as a floating point variable this is an integer variable if we can go to c language or javascript just now we define two variables right so these are the two variables one is integer one is float but if it is a javascript every variable can be go with a uh, var keyword but what type of variable this is a float and this is integer generally we know this this is a float and this is an integer but in javascript we don't have a concept called float and integer everything is going to be a number right if i print price i can see 10.55 if i print age i can see 30 so nothing difference is there while printing the variables now for the clarity i want to check the type of the variables what type of variable these two are so for this again i want to apply type of operator let me check the type of these two variables type of price and uh, let us print the other variable also type of age age right what type of variable these two are can you see these two are of belongs to number data type so number is a number is a data type in our javascript so these are two belongs to number data type guys so this is about numbers you can take any number that is going to be a number data that, that belongs to number data type now so let us have a boolean data type so let us check with the boolean data type where let us create a variable where status equal to i am taking this as a true something called true or where x equal to true something where uh, is okay uh, some things variable could be anything i am taking something called false now i want to check it uh, if i print this what is going to happen console.log of simply status what is one more thing is okay it's nothing new inside of it so just we can get the value of uh, status and value of uh, is okay they are boolean values and you can check it we can get and true or false these are thing we are getting so now i want to check the keyword called type of what type of variable these are all type of i'm checking with status can you see this is going to be a string i will tell you and now you can check with this is a type of i'm checking this is okay let me see this is going to be a boolean data type so what is this boolean and actually this is also a boolean right what is the problem here let me check so a variable simply i'm taking this as x so maybe <clears throat> 
I'm just taking X here and let us refresh. And this is also Boolean maybe. So I want to check with one more word, uh, H E L L O, hello equal to true. Let me check with this is hello something. I just want to confirmation. This is Boolean. Maybe status may be a, a predefined keyword here. There is a reason maybe it is get, it is giving something called true or else you can take something called welcome. So I'm changing the different, different variables for the confirmation. Why this is coming earlier string? So is it doesn't refresh? I don't think uh, if it is refreshed or not page, but let me check with the status variable again. The variable is status here and let us go with the variable status type of status. So let me check with this and you can refresh. Oh, you're getting string. Just I want to print status here, but if you can print only status, what are you getting? You are getting something called a true. Okay, we're getting true, but it is look it is behaving like a string. For example, I want to take X status. Okay, let me check this as a X status. So I'm changing the variable name as X status and I want to use type of just some different variable, nothing new inside of it. So just earlier is type of now I changed the variable X status. Let us check it. So it is going to be a Boolean. Oh, maybe status may be a predefined keyword. Maybe I am. I need to check it guys. Give me some time. I will check and I will let you know. So what is this exactly here? Right. So except the keyword status and we are having uh, all are getting boolean data type so this is also a boolean always a boolean variable contain two values that is either true or false right so in some other programming language uh, if you can you know php so the value of true will always denoted as one in php so the value of false is always going to be empty there is no value for false in php different programming language may treat them as a different manner guys that, that's the only thing right so this is uh a boolean value now i want to talk about an array we didn't discuss arrays guys for this example purpose i'm just giving an array where arr equal to let us have some array at 20 30 40 uh, these are this is the array now let us just print this array so arr just i'm printing the array and check it what type of it is going to print and all can you see this is array and the prototype if we can expand this array we can see the prototype is array and the array contain four values and if you can apply type of here it is going to be an object type of operator i'm applying now you can check it it is going to be an object array is also object uh, later in the sessions we are going to discuss about arrays arrays having collection of methods uh, so by using those methods we can manipulate the arrays that we will see in the next sessions guys now so we have another type called object uh, how we can create an object later also in the later sessions we will discuss about objects also very clearly how can we create our own objects and all that too also we'll see where let us have a variable obj equal to so this is object curly bracket if it is a square bracket that is going to be an array but if it is a curly bracket that is going to be an object see i'm not giving anything inside of it just you can console.log just you can print the obj variable variable could be anything so i just taken for the naming for the namesake i taken obj you can take any variable there now you can check it this is what the prototype is object so if you want you can check the type of also by applying type of keyword we can check the variable type is and all now you can see the type of is object we can keep some values also inside of it so object values are going to be like this let us have something Right, sorry. Key could key should not be in quotes, guys. Key directly we can write. So value should always be in quotes, whatever the value it may be. Right. Now you can check it. So just I want to print the obj, and I am checking the type of obj. What type? Of, what it is? What the obj contains? Can you see? This is obj key value key value. If you can expand the prototype is object here, and the type of is going to be an object so this is object data type now we are going to see the special data types uh, undefined and null so what is undefined generally i want to take a variable where x i'm not assigning any value to it so just i want to print it console.log or document.write whatever it may be just i'm printing so the variable declared uh, a variable is created without assigning any value just an empty variable now i want to print an empty variable if you can check it so you will get the data type called undefined undefined is also a data type 
special data type in our javascript undefined is a data type so undefined means we didn't define any value for the variable you just declared a variable x and you didn't assign any value to this variable the data type is undefined for example i am giving something called null so if i give null then what it is it the value you assigned null right okay you assign null that is okay fine you because we assign some value to null if you are not assigning anything so that is simply going to be a undefined variable undefined the value of the x is uh, undefined for example here i just want to know what is the difference between this um, var uh, null and undefined for example let us take it two variables here var a1 i am not assigning anything to it var a2 equal to something called null so these are the thing so then if you are not assigning anything what it could be it is an undefined you assigned a value called null then definitely the value of a2 is going to be null see i just want to compare these two a1 or else you can write simply console.log so just i want to write a comparison here console.log here a1 you can take is equal to equal to a2 i'm just comparing both are same huh? I just want to compare a1 a2 just I'm comparing here can you check what is our output if they are matched this is going to be written true if that is not matched that is going to be a false let us refresh it can you see this becomes true I mean they are matched what is the value of a1 and what is the value of a2 are same that's why it is give, it is written true then what is the difference sir here sir actually it is giving undefined it is giving null because we manually assign a value called null right how they are compared each other right both values are same undefined and null both are same here and here if both are same what is the difference between these two right so here i just want to show you the practical difference of these guys here guys can you check it here what is the type of a1 let us go here type of a1 what is the type of a1 and as well as type of a2 let us check both guys type of a2 can you see the difference between these two now a1 and a2 what is the type of a1 definitely it is going to be a undefined what is the type of it there's a question let us check it carefully the type of is the type of a1 is undefined the type of null is the object both values undefined and null both are same but what is the difference between these two the value of a1 is undefined the value of a2 is the, sorry the data type of a2 is object this data type is undefined and this data type is object so when i am comparing so we are getting now if i take triple equal to what is a triple equal to here it will compare both values earlier both values are same now what is going to happen now in this situation it is true okay we are getting true now i'm comparing with triple equal to what it will do guys triple equal to will compare the values and it's the respect to data type now you can check it that the data type is different so we are getting something called false we are not getting true earlier both values are same if you can use double equal to compare values only now compare values and their respective data type so these are the data types in our javascript guys in next session we are going to discuss about javascript functions thank you guys